Hi everyone. In this video I am going to demonstrate the Mann-Whitney test using SPSS. The Mann-Whitney test can be utilized as a possible alternative to the standard parametric independent samples t-test when certain distributional assumptions are not met such as the assumption that the data on your dependent variables uh, on your dependent variable uh, are not uh, normally distributed in your two groups. Now the independent samples t-test involves a comparison between your two groups with respect to their means. Um, however, the Mann-Whitney test involves a comparison between two groups with respect to the mean ranks on the dependent variable. So to clarify what I mean by mean ranks, imagine that I have two groups uh, of cases with scores on a dependent variable, let's say it's a continuous dependent variable, and I rank order the scores on the dependent variable from low to high. Uh, irrespective of group membership and then compute the mean of those ranks for each group. So the Mann-Whitney test then would involve a comparison between the two groups with respect to those mean ranks. So for our demonstration we will be working with the data that you see on your screen and I'm going to include a link underneath the video description uh, for you to be able to go there and to download a copy of the data and to follow along. So the scenario that uh, we will be posing in this case is one where I'm a counseling researcher and I want to compare two treatment uh, individuals uh, in two treatment conditions on a measure of depression after a three week treatment period. So the independent variable uh, treatment uh, actually has two levels. Um, the uh, level one is cognitive behavioral therapy, so individuals who will be randomly assigned to that uh, treatment condition. And then level two is a wait list control group. So those individuals for a three week period are not going to receive the treatment, although we would ideally have them uh, receiving the treatment afterwards. Um, so we'll click on OK and our dependent, var uh, our dependent variable is uh, depression so this is measured as a continuous variable and to carry out our analysis what we will do is to go to analyze go to non-parametric tests and then to independent samples uh, under the objective tab we will click on customize analysis and then move to the fields tab move our independent variable down to the groups box and then our dependent variable over to the test fields box and then we will click on settings go to customize tests and then click on man whitney to samples so then we will click on run and we get our output um, so right here you can see that we have the significance level uh, given so there our p-value it says point zero 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 uh, but we would report this as uh, P less than 0 .001 and they also give you a decision right here where there's a comparison of this p-value against uh, the alpha level of 0 0.05. So next what we will do is uh, double click in this box and you'll see that uh, the pane on the right gives us some more information. So you'll notice that for the cognitive behavioral group, the mean rank for the depression scores is 8.2, whereas for the waitlist control group, uh, the mean rank is 22.8. So what that's telling me then is that the um, scores in the waitlist control group uh, tend to be higher than those in the cognitive behavioral group. Okay, so next you can see that we have um, essentially our um, Mann-Whitney uh, test statistic that's given right here, uh, as well as the p-value, asymptotic significance for a two-sided test, uh, where you have a p uh, would be presented as less than 0 0.001. You'll notice too that if we scroll down a little bit further, we have an exact test that's given. There's our p-value, and this is uh, the, actually the same value that uh, that we had seen over here, where they said the exact significance is given. And generally, you would uh, want to choose the exact uh, significance in cases where you have a smaller sample size uh, that you're working with. Now looking at uh, this table too, you'll notice that uh, there's a Wilcoxon W that's referred to here. Uh, basically the Wilcoxon W um, is essentially this, going to give you the same results as the Mann-Whitney. They're, they're fundamentally the same thing. 
Um, and then down here, this is a Z value, and um, you can still utilize the significance levels that are associated with that test. So if you wanted to present a Z value instead of uh, the Man Whitney U, you could certainly do that uh, using that standardized test statistic that's given below. Okay, so that uh, pretty well concludes this video demonstration, and I appreciate you watching.